What is going on guys? Kind of Down here back with another video and today I want to take the time to talk to you guys about the key components to being successful um, really in well, mainly in Call of Duty but really in any game you can apply any of these um, sort of rules or not really rules but sort of um, teachings to really any game um, so here we have a uh, T game gameplay and this gameplay I started off going 1 and 6 I started off going 1 and 6 you know, I, I never play like that. I don't know what was like what was going wrong. You know, I don't know what was happening. So the first step to sort of noticing um, something, you have to notice what's wrong with it. Um, and what I noticed is that I was playing too tight. And when I'm not, I was playing sort of trying to get kills. I wasn't just playing and just letting the game come to me. I was trying to force it i was trying to force myself into the spawn i was trying to force myself into areas where there was definitely high traffic and way too many enemies and i was forcing myself into you know you know areas without you know checking my surroundings or really not really paying attention um but once i realized that's what i was doing then i fixed the mistake and, that, and that's the first thing you have to fix the mistake you're making um Another thing you have to have, um, which is key, is patience. Um, and I know patience, well patience can kind of be measured, but patience is different among everybody. And, you know, sometimes you, you, you have to sort of, you can't f rush things. You have to be like, okay, you know, if I'm not good, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, you have to realize you're not good if you're not good. And you can't try to force yourself and be like, oh, you know, I'm going to try to jump into the spawn and shoot everybody. You know, you have to be patient in, in terms of knowing that being good isn't, you know, being great isn't always, you know, easy. You know, you, it takes a long time to be good, to be great. You can't just do it overnight. You can't expect results, you know, after doing something once. It takes practice. And from here, from practicing um, Call of Duty and playing Call of Duty for... I can't even remember now. I've been playing since COD 4 uh, when I was young. But it takes patience. It takes time. Another thing you have to have, um, which is not really measurable, is, is skill. You have to be... You, you also have to have some sort of skill or knowledge of the game. For me, I under, I, I'm starting to know these spawns in this game by like the back of my hand. You know, just like in many other games, you sort of learn enemy patterns. You learn... Um, sort of the way people play and how to counter that you have to counter how people play um, which is a big key definitely in this game um, you're gonna see in a play later um, with the dude who glitched um, you're gonna you're gonna see it but you have to sort of be able to counter what everybody else is doing you have to not only let you know the game come to you but you also have to um, okay watch this play but you also have to sort of dominate you know, in a sense. If you want to be good, you have to dominate. You have to make people play the way you want them to play. You have to make people want to ch have to check their corners. Like, I saw this dude glitch. I saw his pattern. I turned around and knew he was going to be behind me. You have to counter what people are doing. And right there, I get murked. Um, but yeah, you, you also have to make people play the way you want them to play. You know, make them feel vulnerable. And that's the way I do. That's the way I play. I like to sort of rush, kill a couple people, you know. And then you'll get into different areas and you know just flank enemies. You see there, I get murked because I decided you know like I was doing what I was doing earlier in the game, making mistakes, jumping into areas I wasn't supposed to be. So you have to you have to change sort of the way you approach things. I, I threw stuns downstairs, upstairs. It helped a lot, and I got the kill. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought I'd just make this video. Um, because I know you know Black Ops Three is very still a fresh game, so some people. Still may want tips on how to be good at the game, um, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like it was a lot of. I, f I feel like if anybody's watching this, can definitely learn from from this video and you know become a better not only Call of Duty player but a better video game player or anything even beyond video games in real life. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been the Countdown Slime signing out and peace.